In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to sell stocks on Google Finance. Whether you're a seasoned investor or someone who's just starting to dip their toes into the world of stocks, Google Finance offers a streamlined interface for managing your investments. Today, we'll guide you through the process of selling stocks step by step, offering handy tips along the way to make the experience as smooth as possible. First things first, you'll need to navigate to the Google Finance website. Just type Google Finance into your web browser or if you prefer a direct approach, head straight to google.com slash finance. Once the site has loaded, you'll be greeted with the latest financial news, market trends and a comprehensive search bar at the top for quick access to stock information. However, our focus today is on selling stocks from your portfolio. To proceed, you're going to have to sign in. Look for the sign in button, usually located in the top right corner. Click it and you'll be prompted to choose your Google account. This should be the account associated with your Google Finance portfolio. If you have multiple Google accounts, make sure to select the one you've used to manage your investments. After selecting your account, it's time to key in your Google account password. Ensure you type this correctly to avoid any unnecessary hiccups during the login process. Once your password is entered, click Next to access your Google Finance dashboard. Now onto the exciting part, navigating to your portfolio. Once signed in, you'll notice a sidebar or a navigation bar at the top. Look for an option labeled as your portfolio or something similar as the design may slightly vary over time. This link takes you to the heart of your investment summary, showcasing all the stocks you've invested in, their current market value and other essential information. Your next step is to get a more detailed view of your investments. For that, click on view as portfolio. This expands your overview, giving you deeper insights into each stock's performance within your portfolio. It's particularly useful for comparing how different investments are faring in the current market. To sell a stock, identify which one you wish to part ways with and click on expand next to it. This action gives you a closer look at the stock's recent performance, current market value and more detailed information that could influence your decision to sell at this specific time. After reviewing your stock's details and deciding to go ahead with the sale, look for the tag icon. This intuitive part of the interface allows you to adjust your portfolio according to the changes you want to make. In this case, selling a stock. Clicking this icon brings up the record keeping section of Google Finance. You'll see a box that by default might be checked for recording a sale. If it's checked, you'll want to uncheck it as we're proceeding to manually enter the details of our sale. This manual entry ensures accuracy in recording the transaction as it reflects in your portfolio. Next, you must input the number of shares you're selling. Be precise and double check the amount to prevent any mistakes. This step is crucial as it affects the financial outcome of the transaction on your portfolio's overall value and performance. Once you've entered the number of shares sold, click to shove sale. This final step solidifies your action, updating your portfolio to reflect the sale of the stocks. It's a significant moment as it rearranges your investment layout and could influence your financial strategy moving forward. And there you have it, a straightforward guide to selling stocks on Google Finance. Remember, the key to successful stock management is staying informed about market trends, thoroughly understanding the tools at your disposal, and making decisions that align with your financial goals. Keep exploring Google Finance features, and you'll find yourself making more informed investment choices that could lead to favorable outcomes. Remember, Investing in stocks involves risks and it's important to do thorough research or consult with a financial advisor before making significant investment decisions. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more financial tips and how-tos. Happy investing!